those of you that have watched the video of our trip back from New South Wales, the Sydney section may remember I had a problem with the trailer with a suspected wheel bearing. It turned out they were just a bit loose and needed adjusting. But while we were looking at it, we discovered one of the disc brakes calipers was worn and although it managed to do the journey back, now's the time to replace them before we take another long journey. So today's video is how to replace a disc caliper. On we go. all looked very easy it's because it had been taken apart before and then just reassembled to wait for the parts to arrive so if we now pull out the brake pad we can see that the caliper has been dragging here not so much here but mainly here on the brake disc which has caused edge here and this was a lot of the scraping noise that we were hearing it's a bit of rust on it now because it's been stood for a month but this was highly polished when I first pulled it apart so the caliper is worn and the wear and tear the caliper is worn and the wear and tear is in these bushes here. You can see the bush slider. And although the slider, even when it's mic'd up, has no discernible wear on it, these bushes here are wear. And that's allowing the caliper to slap around, slop around even, on the mounts and then drag on the disc. So. These are replaceable, the bushes are not. When the bushes are worn, you have to buy a new caliper at the moment. Now, at some stage, it's not beyond the will of man that these bushes could be knocked out. I could turn up some when I get access to a lathe, make some new bushes and recover this caliper. But for now, it's new caliper time. So, after only a week, wait for the post office. Here we have, from eBay, new calipers. shiny and galvanized. So we'll whack these on, use some copper slip grease on the moving bits. God this seems to have even more weight than the old ones did. And uh, see how it goes. So off we go, we've got some copper slip so that everything can be lubed up. Hopefully not wear the next time. Pins well lubed. Not to get us on the brake pads.
Right, well the threads on the top in the caliper mount were a bit dirty and cruddy, so I'd have that on and off a few times to and then run the bolt in and out until it tightens nicely in without time to get to the thread, not just to get the crap. So but now we're going nicely. had a tab washer locking the two together. These just have lock washers on each. Pull that tight. Oh, disc runs without any rattle. Caliper doesn't slop. Pads go on. Lovely. Right, so now we have to just run the brake cable.
struggling.
lovely, lovely, lovely. Now I can tighten the wheels. Not Job done, one down, one to do. Yes, anybody's going, ooh, you didn't tighten up those wheels, I'm afraid. Tight. Oh. I don't go mad, because if you're at the side of the road with a flat tyre, and the last one went air gunned up, or some looming tyre place. Fast for this. 